Hello and welcome to the video of me whining about, well, products. Uh, and it's going to have a, a reason, and I'm just hoping that you'll hang in there with me for a few. But I'll go ahead and give you the conceit of the video right up. These are three products that I saw and I said, who is the market that they are going for? Who is the customers these are meant for? And there's reasons why. So if you wouldn't mind, just let me explain them and then criticize the hell out of me or you just tell me I'm dumb and leave. Whichever you feel like I'm cool with. So let's start with the, and this is a very long name, so sorry, Ironhead Squat Prospectors Exoken. Wow, these names are getting out of control. It's a Necromunda kit, which is cool. And I don't hate this kit. I kind of like the two goofy robot things that they got. But the thing that like slapped me in the face with this kit was, didn't Botan just have a massive release? Aren't there already two squat releases in Necromunda that are pretty good? That one big power armor for mining, I forget the name of. And then the Deep Rock Galactic Dudes in the other box, which were pretty cool. Did, was there an overwhelming need for this? And will this have any effect on the Votan? who love them or hate them i can say well there's obvious holes in the roster of things for their army where are those things shouldn't those have been a priority above another infantry squad for necromunda when there's not really i don't see a massive crying demand like we must have more squat boxes in necromunda i i just haven't seen that cry out from the marketplace um but i i guess it's been silenced by the exokin here uh, and i just go okay well where's the market for it who okayed this how long ago was it okayed were they not in any communication with any of the other teams figuring out when they were releasing things like is the 40k team not in any communication with the Necromunda team, even on a marginal level, to make sure they don't release similar products that overlap and eat into their market and therefore disperse the customer's dime into possible lo multiple locations and effectively will maybe dissuade them from being a customer? Okay, too much market speak. No one talks to anybody, apparently, in this company because somebody would have said, hey, there's some obvious spots in the vote leagues of Votan army that probably need to get a priority above this for Necromunda. So maybe that's just me. You let me know on that one. I'm I'm completely uh, unsure how I feel about it. So let's go over to the cunning or brutal and cunning. I keep wanting to say cunning and brutal. I don't know why. Is it just me? But uh, brutal and cunning and. I sat there and I was looking at the two groups. I know there are fans of, um, oh lord, what are they called? Uh, <laughs> the Ratlings, but they don't seem to have a big enough fan base to maintain them as a kit. And why is it deemed so important that we need to pump this kit out? Like, especially this close to the release of um the new edition kit that had the vespid and uh, the tempestus jetpack dudes and we're getting another kit or a box announced already and i mean i have no interest or love for ratlings as much as i despise halflings so this is a, a thing that makes me go, uh, who's this market? Is the market big enough for these guys to sustain this kit? Are we just using FOMO to hope people will purchase it? Is the, the pug or the battle mutt enough for uh, this box to sell? Because obviously it's not been enough to keep a squad in production for a very, 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 very long time. And I don't think it's going to be enough to push it up unless you really like fat midgets with gigantic feet. Um, though I do like the guy with the boonie hat. So I guess there's that. The other end of it is, okay, the, what are they called? The Wrecking Crew or the Wrecka Crew. They're cool. But the immediate question I came up with in my brain was, um, they feel kind of like they're an odd Terminator 
equivalent for Space Marines. I'm not sure why my brain summoned that up, but they kind of have a feel to that. And then the other thing I said is, well, this is a DLC team. Remember, all your kill zone or kill team stuff, I keep trying to call it kill zone, sorry, um, are all DLC. They're only going to be around for four ish years, and they're only going to be supported maybe five ish years with rules. So they're the DLC in plastic form. Like, what is this kit going to be? It's obviously not going to be a, a big thing. It's name. It's a it's a wreck -a crew. <laughs> the infamous wreck -a crews. Um, is this going to be a new thing for the orc codex? I mean, couldn't they have just made a tank buster kit or? revamped the orc mob kit so that actually could make full 10 orc shooters and or uh you know <laughs> i always mess up the uh, the guys with the, the choppers oh man sorry about that i always mess that one up but couldn't we have gotten a modernized kit that was multi multi-part that really serviced the desire for the orcs to have like a modernized fully uh capable of being done up kit that doesn't give you two of one type or another that's always going to be in it unless you to buy two boxes and you see where this is going i just don't see now there might be people that really really love these and nothing wrong with them i think the the wreck <laughs> the wreck crew is cool oh i am gonna trip all over that but i just don't see them as something that long term is going to be around they're just a DLC and the same with the ratlings I don't believe these groups have much in the way of staying power now I would have probably used kill team as a way to do revamps for parts of armies have them in the rotation for a number of years within kill team itself and then had the boxes fully rotated into 40k as revamps of those individual kits but that doesn't seem to be what this 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 is just two teams I don't think are going to have any marginal stain power. And I think that out of the two, if you ask me, the record crew probably is going to have more people who actually care about it than the ratlings. The ratlings I have never seen as anything but a part of them of 40k and Warhammer Fantasy that appeals to a vanishingly small amount of people not to insult those people that has never been able to fully sustain it because a lot of people absolutely despise them and okay you're getting some wall terrain i just to see this box is not anything but customer hostile it it's a box looking to sell to somebody and i don't think they fought out the customer base that much but Games Workshop doesn't care about their customers. They're not even listed as a thing that they concern themselves when they design a model. So, or sell a model for that, for that sake. Oof. And let's move on to the thing that I'm going to complain about the most. You've been waiting for it, ladies and gentlemen. Probably not, but I'm going to act like you did. It's the Melee Weapons Upgrade Kit for Horus Heresy. Or... Why have I waited nearly three years for this kit? And here comes all of the complaints about it. Now, I looked at this kit and I thought, wow, that's a really good kit for uh, kit bashing. <laughs> if it was called the Horus Heresy Character Kit Bash <laughs> set, I'd been a lot happier. But when I started looking into it, I started having like little niggling things that on the surface it's just like oh cool they're finally doing it and then i started looking at the product so this is what struck me and let me know if you notice this after i bring it up okay why aren't there 10 power malls why aren't are there three patterns of bolt pistol why is there only left-handed bolt pistols <laughs> Why are all the melee weapons only right-handed? Unless they're the two-handers. Don't, don't get me wrong, they have those too. Why did they waste space in a melee kit? In a melee kit for 
10 heads, which are five unique heads that are repeated twice. Why did they waste space in this kit for two power swords that you probably already have an abundance of from the tactical squads? Why are there only two plasma pistols? Why are there two, only two flamers? Why are there only four Volkite Serpenta? Which I'm probably messing up that name. Why is there a left and a right power fist, but there are no right-handed bolt pistols or special pistols or any of those things, really? So let's say you wanted to have a, a right-handed sergeant to, to make him unique. Can't have it. So we got a whole bunch of things in there that made me go, that seems like a giant waste. Why are there the eight hands that are holding a grenade, pointing, doing the full hand gesture forward and onward? Why, why did we waste plastic on that? We, we could have reduced... Okay, so these are the things that they could have done and added in more of the malls, maybe other handed pistols or just you know one set of pattern of pistols because it's going to be really weird having three patterns of pistol and eh. and also okay so this is what i would have done the hands the heads those would have been carted off and put into the command box set right off the bat um I would have trimmed the two power swords completely out unless you're going to go with a Gladius old style power sword, but they're not. They're just the same power swords you get in the tactical box. Those have been trimmed out. And then I would have taken that extra plastic and room on those sprues and given you uh, 10 power axes or 10 power mauls or here's a crazy thought, both 10. <laughs> Maybe a couple pattern uh, pistols in the right hand. Maybe I would have added in a melt -a pistol. <laughs> you know, there's there's a number of things they could have done. And yet, I look at this box and I go, why are these here? Who was the customer considered in the exchange and the true cold hard fact is no the customer wasn't concerned it was whatever fancy of a person in games workshop and whatever fancy of an investor and oh well we can maximize uh, well, let's, let's go to marketing speak for a minute before we we end the video we can maximize our profits on the melee upgrades kit if we only give four of some of these options therefore you would have to buy another box and justify and therefore it would help double our profits from this individual due to the fact that they have to make X amount of purchases so that they could get certain degree numbers of weapons um, well they want to have a, a 10 power axis well sorry you're going to have to buy three of these boxes you want four or ten power malls you're going to have to buy four or three of these boxes. And on and on and on. If you want one type of bolt pistol pattern because it's going to drive you nuts seeing all of these varied weapons in a group of dudes who are just going to hit people with chain swords anyways, you're going to have to buy multiple boxes or you're going to have to, to trade them off a guy or buy them off a bit market. Why are there... Why is there the four sets of power fist there are four sets of lightning claws that we have had why are these uh, random model elements in here when this is a melee weapons upgrade set it's because ladies and gentlemen it has a large number on it 126 parts and it's all designed to cuck you as much as possible to force multiple purchases of this box because their marketing department thinks you are a moron and since they think you are a moron they don't trust that you will purchase multiple of any of these things 
because you want them for upgrades. They're not confident in their product. They're trying to shorthand you so that you have to buy multiple of this product. It's a despicable way of doing things, and I hate it. But that's my thoughts on it. Thanks for joining me, and have a fantastic day.